Well, there was certainly a lot of excitement in the room as Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson took to the podium to address his supporters after having won the uh, GOP primary for governor. Now, Mark Robinson spoke for roughly 10 minutes uh, to a crowd of a couple hundred supporters. He shared his story of growing up poor here in Greensboro, the ninth of 10 children, and credits his mother for choosing work over welfare. The lieutenant governor said it was the Republicans who pulled the state out of the economic doldrums of 2010, where he says state workers, including teachers, didn't get a raise for six years to a time where now our state has, he, according to Robinson, a $5 billion surplus under a Republican-led legislature. Robinson also spoke about reforming our education system by removing agendas in the classroom and getting back to reading, writing, and math. Robinson ended his speech by attacking his Democratic challenger, Josh Stein, saying he doesn't understand the struggles of hardworking North Carolinians. You see, I have an opponent that doesn't understand any of that. I have an opponent who doesn't understand what it's like to be at work and have the boss man come and take you to a room and sit you down and tell you, we're moving this plant to Mexico and there's nothing you can do about it. And now you have to go find another job. I know the sting. I know the sting of the bad federal policy that causes that. And I'm here for the people of North Carolina. Now, supporters I spoke with this evening say they like the fact that Mark Robinson doesn't talk like a politician and speaks what's on his mind. This win brings Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson one step closer to becoming the first black governor in the state of North Carolina. In Greensboro, I'm Chris Peterson, WXII 12 News.